Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new edition of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. That is self-explanatory. As always, the links to all the songs are in a Spotify link down below if you want easy access to find those in that way. But uh, yeah, let's hop into it. I've got 25 songs I wanted to talk about this week, and we are starting in the bad category songs that I thought were uh, were not great. Again, this is just my opinion, so just remember that. Do not take it as gospel truth. Uh, but we're starting with uh, Odd Kid Out and Hiro the Hero with Head case um what the hell is this track uh it's so incredibly short i don't know what hyro is saying the production is intense yet the mixing i think is so flat that it just sounds I, honestly just like bad is the best word i can put it i just this is this track is all over the place i don't understand it uh, then we got Kirby and Mike Cervello with The Function. Uh, this is like a, a hard style, bass house style, a new kind of um, trend that Kirby is going in, and I don't really like it personally. It's, it feels pretty dry and lifeless and um, has a lack of what I think makes Kirby pretty unique as a producer. And so, uh, yeah, not, not a huge fan of that one. We got Martin Jensen and Matten with Still Got It Bad. Um, this is just basic and boring commercial slap house. Uh, and that's how I feel about this track. And then we got Medusa with Musica. Uh, not too bad, uh, but man, hearing the word Musica can get annoying real quickly. Uh, and it's mixed like two stops too high in the mix. And so it just like, it's overpowering the rest of the production. And so it doesn't really feel um, like I, I want to hear the <laughs> word Musica again and again and again. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of a basic, more big room house style track. And uh, yeah, wasn't too much a fan of it. I thought Medusa has been doing some good stuff recently, but I uh, wasn't loving this one. Uh, then we got laid back, laid back Luke and DJs from Mars with State of Euphoria. This is a pretty boring and short trance track, I think. And um, yeah, but also, what is it about like trance and progressive house um, that like they love just the term like euphoria? Like they use euphoria all the time, like a state of euphoria, euphoric. Like they just, I don't know what about it. Um, yeah, and they also have that like kind of classic, just like almost not like robotic, but like futuristic voice, like this is dance music and this is the state of euphoria like it's just it feels cliche at this point uh, and then we got diplo and hugel with uh oh sorry featuring julia church with stay high uh, this is a cover of tove lowe's iconic stay high or habits from the past and um yeah i don't think this really needed to be a thing i don't think this needed to be a cover uh it's relatively kind of simple jungle house remix um with nothing to really grab your attention other than the original vocals that uh, everyone's kind of come to know and love up to this point so at least i did i love the heck out of that track originally but uh, yeah i just didn't find a need for this track uh, then we're moving into the meh category songs that I thought uh, were pretty meh. Uh, we've got Dirty Phonics featuring Micah Martin with Coming Home. Uh, kind of feel like this is just generic drum and bass uh, from Dirty Phonics here. Uh, Micah's vocals aren't providing too much to really tip this track into something else different too. And uh, I don't know, it just feels there um i think specifically with micah martin's vocals when the when the when the like backing production isn't as intense as his vocals are i think it just makes him sound a little weird it just makes his style feel a little off because he's just very like very intense in his vocal delivery and so when the the, the track doesn't really back it up it just feels lackluster then we got Enema and Chris Avant-Garde with Simulation. Uh, I, I really feel like every Enema song is the same at this point. It's all this kind of um, darker, more bass-driven or low-end-driven progressive house. And uh, yeah, I this song is just no exception to that. So it's not a bad song. It's just the same song. Then we got Muzz Don't Stop. Um, speaking of kind of the same, same song, uh, I wasn't feeling this one too much in particular, but uh, yeah, it's got a bit of like a hardcore overtone to it. We'll still be in that kind of drum and bass we know and love from Muzz, but uh, yeah, I wasn't gelling with this one too much. It, it does feel like standard Muzz, more or less. Um, it's kind of the same style he's been going with for a little bit, and there hasn't been a huge mix-up as of late. Uh, he's gone through different eras in the past where he's gone and really done a, a, a huge mix-up um, while still residing within his own sound. But uh, yeah, it's getting a little same same for me, Muzz. So, and then we got Galantis and Hannah Bolin with "Little Bit Yours." Um, not as much as a straightforward commercial house track here that I was expecting from Galantis. A little bit more of like a a, a truly pop dance pop record. And so, uh, yeah, it's dominated a lot by the vocals of Hannah. And um, overall, I thought it was like less of a happier approach that Galantis normally does to their production. Um, it's Which is, uh, I think, a nice little change up. Uh, it does feel different than Galantis and it doesn't feel as derivative of some of their other tracks. And so I thought this one was uh, meh. 
And then we got Memba and Tasaki featuring young Sammy. Is it Tasaki or Tasoki? I don't, I don't know how to say it, but uh, with Mendy. Um, yeah, as much as I was very intrigued about this collaboration on paper, I wasn't really feeling too hot about this track in execution. And I thought it was a fairly simple kind of Arabian style hybrid trap track, which uh, is more common, I think, than not in the industry nowadays. I feel like that's just like one of the most, I don't, I don't want to say basic, but like it just feels a very like go-to trap and then let's go like an Arabian tone or like a Middle Eastern tone. And so I just feel like it's pretty common now days and specifically i guess with uh memba is one that kind of does it quite a bit although i think in really really good ways in the past but uh yeah also didn't really love the vocals on this and i think that might have been the biggest turnoff for me was uh young semi's vocals sadly but yeah we got Zavi with Give You Everything. Uh, I love the style and tone of this track, but didn't really feel like it went anywhere or did anything. I love Zavi's production. I think it's great. I think the quality is fantastic, but um, just uh, structurally, it just kind of was pretty linear the whole time. It didn't really do much. Um, this feels like what like a baseline Zavi track is what you would create, as, is what Zavi would create and then add on to it later and do different things with it. That felt like they just, it never got to the add on phase. It's just like, this is just a standard one. So um, yeah, I didn't, obviously didn't hate it, but uh, I just thought it could have been a little bit more. And then we got Seven Lines and Jason Ross featuring Gigi Madri with Darkness. Uh, yeah, sadly, I just don't see the tracks anything other than basic mellow dub generic mellow dub it's the same structure i've heard for years and years again it's it's not really a bad track it's just so much of the same of what i've heard years and years before so um i yeah i don't think it's a bad track i just think it's the same thing and i i've heard this type of track many times in the past then we got Felix John and Jonas Blue with uh, Past Life, the Coven remix. Um, a fun remix, but nothing too crazy. A little short for my liking. And I think um, my opinion on the original, which I didn't like as much, kind of tainted this remix. Uh, I thought it was like a solid remix from Coven, but I just, I think I just didn't like the bass track that they were working on. So I, uh, yeah, in the end, I just wasn't a huge, huge fan of this one. So, but still liked it, sort of. It was in May, but. Uh, we are moving into good now, the good category, as we're uh, starting off with Tony Romera, Share My Love. Uh, this is a solid Deep House track, but uh, <laughs> uh, man, I don't think I've ever heard a term or a phrase in a song like, uh, let me share my love with you, repeated more in a track than this one. Um, literally from start to end, let me share my love with you is repeated time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. But uh, the beat is fairly solid, and I think this goes hard in a club, so uh, I put it in good. Then we've got Igloo Ghost featuring Marina Herlop with Collision Data, double-sided single out now from Igloo Ghost. And finally, we got some Igloo Ghost in uh, 2023 because uh, there was kind of some rumored album that was going to come out soon. So I was waiting and waiting for some singles and we never really got anything, but we finally got something at the year end. Um, I doubt some album will come out uh, by, by 2024, but um, I'm sure in 2024 something will come out. But um, yeah, this is glitchy and otherworldly and almost creepy with the vocals. Um, just an experience of a track that I really enjoyed. Then got Oliver's with Get High, the VIP. Uh, this is kind of like peak Oliver's here. Uh, big sound, lots of energy. Track feels like it was a ton of fun to remix himself. Um, it just feels like it's a blast of a track, and uh, I enjoy this one. Then we got a Cloudy Sky with Flares. Uh, first off, this is pretty much like an alt-rock track of sorts. It's really not like... EDM uh, per se, but uh, yeah, it does have like elements here and there that sprinkle throughout, but um, this isn't really what I would call an EDM track. But other than that, I think it's really solid. I love the instrumentation throughout um, with some of the guitar stuff and some, uh, yeah, fun little licks here and there. And uh, I thought in terms of vocals, I thought this was some of a Cloudy Sky's best in a little while. So a uh, big, big fan. Then we got Overwork with More. The More EP is out now uh, from Overwork. And this is just a classic Overwork with kind of longer drawn out tracks in both its length and structure. It kind of continually adds with each movement to kind of it's like in like a round would be of sorts of a track. And so, um, yeah, I, his mixing has always been super clean and really nice. And so uh, this is just another solid addition to his discography. And then we've got Kazuki and Mr. Fujiwiji with You Say. Uh, simple can often be best, and that is this track. It's got a great atmosphere and tone, and um, yeah, it's very serene and beautiful, I think were the two words I would describe it most. And uh, yeah, simple production elements that makes it a very relaxing listen, and uh, I am a fan for sure. 
Then we got Beast Boy with Two Turnt. Uh, the track is a little bit of everything. It's got some funk, it's got some rhythm, and it's just an overall really playful track. Um, this is a different kind of more, yeah, more playful than I think I've heard from Beast Boy in the past. Also a little bit residing a little bit more in that kind of higher register than some of the uh, <laughs> really dark growls that Beast Boy's in the past. And uh, I, was a, I was a fan of this one for sure. Then we got Caster with the Hexed Opera. Uh, this is kind of a drumstep DNB track with a very cinematic tone to it. Um, I'm very excited for this upcoming Caster EP on Monster Cat that's coming out at some point in 2024, I believe. And um, yeah, I think the the tracks as a whole are going to sound a lot better in in unity, in in unison together. Um, for now, I think they're they're pretty solid. But I think when we hear all the tracks back to back to back, we're going to go, okay, like that just they enhance each other, they bring each other up. I think uh, is what's going to happen. So. Then we've got Apache featuring Busta Rhymes with King. Uh, the Antagonist LP is out now from Apache. And um, yeah, Busta plays uh, off his track quite marvelously. I think the two really uh, bounce off each other quite well in both Apache's production and Busta Rhymes' vocals. And uh, it's an artist that I also was shocked was going to be on an Apache record. This is just one of the ones that I feel like I've been listening to for a long time in Busta Rhymes and one that I feel like never really touches a sphere of EDM world and stuff. But um, yeah, pleasantly surprised with this track. And I really enjoyed this. Go check out the whole LP now. And our penultimate track of the week is Koki and Leo Tricks featuring Flodan with DIY, the uh, dubstep mix. Um, this is, I think, like sort of an EP that was released. There was the DIY old school and then dubstep mix. And then uh, last night on this kind of three track EP thing of sorts. But um, yeah, I I don't really know how they got flow down on this track, but man, he is fire here. Um, stylistically, uh, this track is like kind of compressed to the nines and sounded just like just super abrasive and just super just like, um, but uh, letting Flodan kind of just take over the track for the most part, which I think is uh, marvelous. And so uh, I very much surprised how much I enjoyed this track. Uh, it is a little shorter, but I think it's got a great tone to it. So. And my number one track of the week, still in good, is uh, Just a Gent featuring Kai with Pondering Minds. Uh, the Just a Gent returned to Monster Cat after three years. And um, yeah, this is like a, a weird one for Just a Gent because there's a, it's like a bit of a four on the floor kind of trance progressive house-ish beat uh, at the beginning of first of the, each of these drops. And uh, it turns into something that is a little bit more normalized for a Just a Gent sound with kind of being that weird like uh, almost halftime future bass or trap sound. And and um, yeah, it's just super creative production. It's literally all over the place in a really good way. It's chaotic in a good way. And um, I think this is just a stellar track. And so, yeah, let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. But other than that, uh, I'm Dakota from Rotimedia, and I'll see you guys in another video.